flower is the main reproductive part of a plant responsible for making gametes. How about exploring the parts of a flower? Stalk with receptacle holds the flower. Outer side are the green sepals, which protect the flower while it's in a bud. You can see colorful petals that attract insects for pollination. Inside the petals is stamen. The male part and the innermost part is the carpel, a female part of the flower. How about knowing more about the structure of the carpel and the stamen? The carpel has sticky stigma at the top to catch pollen. Then style that connects to ovary, which has many ovules, having female gametes, ova. Ova is formed by meiosis cell division. Stamen has a long filament and holds the anther. Each anther has two lobes with four case at corners inside which is a pollen sac. Some of the cells are pollen sacs, divided by meiosis, forming male gamete. When anther splits pollen grains come out as a yellow powdery substance which has a male gamete inside. Each pollen has a tough hard covering that helps to survive. Now pollen has to reach to the stigma of the carpel. The transfer of pollen to stigma is called pollination. When it is carried to the stigma of the same flower, it is self-pollination as in sunflower. And if in different flowers, it is cross-pollination as in papaya. Flowers can be pollinated by wind, insects and water. Once pollination is done, Male gamete has still not reached the female gamete. Pollen grain now grows a pollen tube, which goes down through the style. It keeps secreting enzymes to make its path through the tube. Pollen tube enters the ovule through an opening called micropyle. Male gamete travels through the tube and enters the ovule. Here it fuses with the female gamete. This process is called fertilization. Once fertilization is done, now sepals and petals are not needed, so they wither and fall off. Ovule contains a zygote, a fused male and female gamete structure. This zygote divides mitotically to form an embryo plant. The ovary changes to fruit with ovule as seeds. The covering ovule, that is integument, becomes hard and dry to form testa of the seed. The other part of the seed is the cotyledon, which has stored food in the form of starch and protein. If there are two cotyledons, then it is a dicotyledonous seed, and if one, then it is a monocotyledonous seed. Whenever the seed gets suitable environment, the embryo grows into a new plant. Let's see the structure of a seed. It has an embryo, cotyledons which are stored food as starch and protein for the embryo to grow. This is how the reproduction happens in plants.